Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review, hope you're all well. Uh, right, we are taking a look at another one that I picked up from B&M the other day in Carnarvon. Uh, as I've said on the other videos, I uh, popped in just to pick some nibblies up and I thought, well, while I'm here, Carnarvon, let's have a look, see what sort of beers they got. So uh, we're taking a look at one of them, actually two, uh, because I picked two up because they were smaller bottles. Now I saw this and I just thought, well, that seems interesting. Now I read all this stuff and, and, and I'm gonna read it out to you and you think, ooh, that's gonna be big, isn't it? So what we are looking at is Young's Ramrod Strong Ale. Not gonna tell you how much, uh, what the ABV is yet, but I looked at it, I thought, that looks old and traditional. I thought, red at the top, makes it look a little bit scary with the black underneath. Ramrod, it's 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 selling you this strong ale, isn't it? I mean, it's obviously got strong ale underneath and all. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's strong. And you look at the label up here, and it says a mature, mature straight away. You're thinking, ooh, it's going to be big, isn't it? A mature and full flavored ale with a wonderfully balanced palate of fruit and hops. So it's sounding rich. It's sounding big. It's sounding scary. Uh, so I picked two bottles of it up because they're in 275 mil bottles. And then when I got home, noticed it was 5%. A strong ale was strong. 5% is just... Uh, anyway, 275 mil bottles. I picked two up from B&M, 79 pence each. So this, for a pint, is coming in at pound fifty-eight. So hopefully it's going to be all right. I will tell you now. Uh, Young's, I don't know, did I tell you it was Young's? Young's Brewery. So a very old traditional sort of thing. But they, it is now uh, Carlsberg Marston's. Uh, so what it would have been like years ago, I don't know, but somebody can comment what it's like now. That is all I can comment on. Uh, and no doubt, probably Carlsberg and Marston's have ruined it. And Strong Ale was probably about 7% back in the day. Let me just show you the crown. Ramrod, very nice crown as well. So yeah, the bottle looks nice and it's a nice crown on it. So let's stop talking. Let's get these open and get them into my glass. See, this is why I got two, because I thought, right, let's, let's whack it in there and get it strong. Me glasses aren't clean. It's a problem when you're in a bloody hotel Maybe I need to take a sponge or something. I don't know. Look at the bubble stuck on that glass. It's literally just been rinsed and shaken. Uh, we'll get the other one in there. I can just tell it's going to be quite thin, I can tell. But give that another tap. Don't break it, Baz. Beer in a glass. It's sort of copper sort of quite a deep amber looking beer if you like. There are bubbles going up in the middle of the glass as well. Uh, this was poured, there's still half a bottle left if you like, but we got about two fingers of just slightly off white head. You could call it white, but it's slightly off white head. There's a nice compact section of the, the head there and, and then they're a bit wider at the top. But it looks pretty good to be honest, but it does look quite thin. But what we are hoping for is something flavorful hopefully with a little bit of weight and tasty so uh let's dive in with the nose first see what we get what did it say again balanced palette of fruit and hops are we going to get that on the nose yeah it smells like an ale it smells a little bit fruity you could maybe say hedgerow I mean, I'm going to guess this has probably got fuggles in somewhere along the line. Even Goldings as well, possibly. That's the sort of feel I'm getting, if you like. It does smell a little bit generic, which is what you would kind of expect. Uh, certainly now Carlsberg, Marston's a got older. It's got that typical sort of... That's what I'm going to say. It's got that typical sort of Carlsberg, Marston's aroma to it. But let's dive in on the taste. Young's Ramrod Strong Ale, 5%. Picked up from B&M or Home Bargains Carnarvon, 
79p for a 275ml bottle coming in at £1.58 for a pint. Cheers. Okay, yeah. Even considering Carlsberg Marston's got this. From what I'm drinking now, like I say, I've not had it before. I can't really say they've ruined the beer. You know, it's going again. Five percent. It would be nice with a bit more weight to it. But saying that, the body on it isn't too bad. But it does feel a little bit light. It would be nice if it felt that little bit heavier. It's got to be said. But it's not bad. It's smooth. Carbonation is in there. But they're small bubbles. So that it, it doesn't really ruin the mouthfeel. It is quite pleasant. It's got to be said. It does have. A, it has a bit of an Abbott Ale feel to it. But maybe without the nastiness. Uh, used to be a good beer that years ago. But it's nowadays it seems to have this nastiness about it this this for me doesn't uh, it's very pleasant it's very enjoyable it's got to be said I'll give you some tasting notes now you know it doesn't it doesn't look too bad in the glass does it there's a fruity hoppiness in there a little bit of caramel maybe toffee Maybe even a little bit of nuttiness in there. I think it's the sort of beer that I've said it feels quite light. But saying that, it's not, it's not, it's thin, it's light. But somehow, they're, they're, I think with the, the flavours, it sort of fills it out a bit. And it starts to feel a little bit heavier with the flavours. Pardon me. Hoppy notes, fruity, malty. To be fair, I can't really say there's anything nasty in there. Uh, it goes down well. The 5%, I think it drinks like 5% ale. There's, n there's no overpowering alcohol, which you wouldn't expect. But I think it's got some quite decent, bold sort of flavours. Pardon me. That certainly pass, pass, pass it as a five percent beer. Uh, I've got to say, I quite like it. I quite like that, to be honest. Uh, any more left? No, nope, we got no more in there. Yeah, it's got a little sweetness to it as well. It almost has elements of a mild in there as well uh but yeah i think that's an enjoyable drop to be honest and you're not paying a lot of money for it so uh for me young's carlsberg masters if you like ramrod strong ale uh five percent it's well worth picking up i think i think if you like your traditional sort of stuff i don't think there's anything particularly nasty in there for me uh and I could, I could drink a few of them. I said a few. I could drink a few that size. I don't think I could drink two bottles of it and a, a, a few of them then. I do think, believe it or not, like I said, as I said with the body, I think it will start to fill you up. But yeah, decent drop. Would I pick it up again? Yep. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. If you had it years ago, if they'd done it years ago, which I'm assuming Young's would have done it years ago, if you if you've had both of these, be interesting to 
to your views on both of them. So, uh, yeah, give it a go if you see it. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. That's the last review for tonight. See you on another one. Cheers.